In this video, I will show you how to create a pack file using a software called MIM11 and then we are going to pack this file, this reverse me. Later, we will then use uh, x64dbg to unpack it. So first, we download the MIM11 program from here. It's a free download. And then we unzip it and we will have this program. Then we open this program and select the file we want to pack, which is reverse me. Then we click. Before we pack the file, make a copy of reverse me. So that we have two copies. This is the unpack one. And now we're going to pack it this so we click do it and it is packing the file click OK now we can close the MEW program and this file is now packed so let's rename this file as the new name let's call it unpack me and new to indicate that this file has been packed using the new software. This file has been packed, so this is the original one. So if we click this file, it's supposed to show this uh, message. So now let's unpack this file. But before we unpack, we just want to confirm by opening it with the Detect It Easy program. And you can see Detected Easy has detected the packer as MEW. And the entry point is the entry point on the stop, the packer stop, not the original entry point of the original PE file. So our objective is to locate the original entry point and then dump it. So let's do that now. So we take this, we open this file using the uh, x64 dbg run it and we have a start so click f9 or press this button to run and this is the entry point for the stop the packer stop this is not the original entry point just press f8 again to jump to this location f8 and now this is the start of the stop for the unpacker. So what we need to do now is to locate the old EBP so that we can put a hardware breakpoint on it. At the moment, the stack it looks like this. There is no old EBP pushed to the stack yet. So what we do is we keep pressing F8 and keep observing the stack here to look for the push for the old EBP. So just press F8 now and look here. Nothing yet. Press F8 again, 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 F8 again. And finally, you will find that the old EBP has been pushed to the stack. So let me remind you about this diagram. Whenever you start a new routine, he will push the old EBP to the stack. So now we want to put a hardware breakpoint to keep track of the old EBP because we know for sure that when the stop routine finishes, it will always pop the old EBP before going into the original entry point which we are targeting. So let's put a hardware breakpoint now to keep track of the old EBP. So the stack now is pointing at this OEVP, so we can go to the stack, stack pointer ESP, right click, follow in dump, and here the stack is pointing to this D word. So select this D word, right click, and put a hardware breakpoint. I'll remove my own breakpoint and insert again so that you can see how it's done. 
select view it. Now press F9 to hit the hardware breakpoint or click run. And now we have hit hardware breakpoint as you can see. Hardware breakpoint, read right. So the hardware breakpoint is just before this push zero. And this push zero is the start of the original entry point. So this is the one we are interested in. We want to dump this memory and then create a new executable out of it. So to do that, we will then use Scylla and then over here, we click on File, Dump Memory. Scroll down and look for this uh, address 40100 and you should select this one, the start with the start of our original entry point, our original PE file. So we want to dump this, click dump PE and give it a new name. Select this file and append the dump phrase to the back of it to create a new file. Click save. And no need to save the memory, click cancel for this part. Now open the file and try to run it and you will find it fails. So what we need to do is to fix the IAT table. So like before, we will go back to Scylla again and this time we click IOT, IAT auto search, click no, use a normal search and it has located the IAT, click OK. Click on Get Imports and now click Fix Dump. And then select the dump file, click Open and it has fixed it. Notice now it has created a new file with the extension SCY and this is the file, the dump file that has been fixed, the IAT table. So double click it and you see it is working fine. To confirm that we have uh, dumped the PA file, we will load this in uh, XDBG. Open the, this file. And now, when I press F9, it should go direct to the original entry point. F9. And there you are. Straight away goes to the original entry point. 401300. So now if you click run again, you will see the message pops up. So we have successfully dumped the PE file. Now I want to show you another alternative method of dumping the PE file. So now I'll open the original file again. So this other method is same way we press F9 or this click on the run button. And then when we come here, we follow the jump, click run, not click run, sorry, click press F8. So now this is the start of the stop, the packer stop. You can actually scroll down and look for the return, RET. This is the return. But before that, let me remove the hardware breakpoint which was set earlier. Okay, so now we find the return here. We can double click put a software return, software breakpoint, and then run to this. So now we break here, as you can see, in 3 is a software breakpoint. So what we do now is press F8. And straight away, we go to the original entry point. So the rest is the same. So we just use Scylla as usual in the same way to dump the PE file and to fix the IT table. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.